uh, and technically we have Kirill here. Kirill will be, as I understand, he doesn't speak Russian maybe for 15 or 20 years, so he he technically can understand us, I guess, a little bit, maybe 5%, but mostly he doesn't. So try to ask any questions in English. If you, if you cannot, I will probably translate into English. So maybe we'll wait uh, two more minutes because we probably have uh, we have Tata Tata Tata. This is uh, I mean I just decided to join uh, our pre our you know current group to this group because we have uh, our tech support guy Kirill today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, we, okay. I don't know. Will uh, Victoria and uh, Marina join us? I just wanted that uh, if anybody have questions uh, because. Kirill, I hope, uh, will give us a pleasure to answer and to tell us uh, how to use or this or that way the application we have been talking about. I don't know. Uh, Kirill, can you tell a little bit about yourself or about your company? Uh, and maybe tell tell us, please, uh, should, I, should I share the screen? Should you share the screen that people will understand uh, what pro program we are talking about, what this service is for? Hi everyone. My name is Kirill. I am from Moscow region, Sergey Posad. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. So, uh, Mikhail uh, invited me to this meeting so I could answer your questions about um, a product that I was familiar with. Uh, very well in the past when I worked for the company Flipping Book as a customer support specialist. Um, and uh, as I understood from our previous meeting with um, Mikhail, uh, that you might be interested in this solution um, to help you achieve your goals in your project. I don't know anything about your project. Uh, so if you have questions about flipping book, please ask. We can even structure this conversation this way. Uh, so I used to work uh, in a way that people call or write to me and uh, they ask, hi, could you help me? Could you explain me what it is? Maybe it can help me with this project. So that's why I expecting that you know what your project is, and you are looking for for a specific tool uh, that can help you. So let's assume I am on the line. I have no idea who you are. So, and you are just browsing the internet. You come across this website. You think it's you might be useful for you, and you decide to talk to me. So I'm here to answer your questions. Thank you, Gideon. I guess we should have questions. <laughs> so, yes, I don't have any questions. So that's why I I pretend that I have no idea that I am even at the meeting. No, for so example, I'm just sitting here. I I told Fox that. Uh, one of this, I, Fox, by the way, do you see my screen? I'm sharing the screen. I don't know. Should uh, Kirill share the screen? Maybe he has this book. Uh, maybe he has this up online a little bit better or updated version. Or my, you know, my web page is okay. I mean, do you see it? At least that we should understand what we're talking about. Fox, how can you hear me? Diana, Grigori, Tata. Yura. Yeah. Uh, Do you see my screen? What? Yes. Yes. So this is. The, uh, let me uh, as I understand what this book can do. So this book, uh, as I understand, the, we can publish online or like in PDF or maybe in EPUB this type of uh, book. And this book can, like flipping book. And this book can be a booklet, our advertise, advertisement, or any type of our kind of uh, production for virtual devices for like iPhone, iPads, or like any website. So if we want to 
share our ideas or our mind or if this is a kind of publication it can be delivered in, and it can be transferred or b by this tool by this version by the way is uh, Kirill can you can you tell us is that uh, is that do you understand it's two different products like a flipping book uh, like a, a st stand alone application and some kind of uh, application which is an online version of uh, kind of online what web browser version yes you're correct Mikhail there are two main products one is a desktop application for Windows and a web application for your browser where you don't have to install anything you just go to web page and do everything there Should we go to any any link here? I mean, any should I press any buttons like products, examples, price, and where it can be kind of you know? It depends on uh, what you would like to know. For so, example, if I want to see what what's the regular interface, some kind of menus. So, I mean, where should mm, I go just to to maybe to to that we will see that and maybe I'll just put my mouse and ask this or that question or anyone of us can ask this or that question uh, <laughs> okay uh, Mikhail may I call you Mike whatever you want ah perfect Mike oh, uh, first of all I propose this way of uh, communication to help you I would prefer to know what your goal what your goal is what are you trying to achieve? Uh, so are you working for a company on your own? So do you have a project or you're just playing? Uh, you just just try uh, like try interesting things. <laughs> so maybe you are going to create something. So I have no idea. So that's why uh, it, give me some more information. We can browse this uh, site for a very long time, but I think it will be inefficient. Mm -hmm. Just tell me what your goal, and I will direct you. Fox, any questions? Because I have a lot of questions. Just wanna that you will start <laughs> first. Just, just so, <laughs> guys, uh, I, I I remember that Mike told me you were playing uh, you were talking about how to make videos some of you work in different areas some of you are programmers some of you are um, some of you work with a uh, different and uh, maybe in marketing uh design some of you uh, yes with design some of you like to make videos maybe animations uh, whatever yeah so let just, so that that's so may, this can be useful for you so but let, i just need to know let's just imagine for example i would like like we have lessons like once in a week or twice in a week and for example i would like to make a little booklet for all of us with the with the tasks and i would like to publish this stuff in what if i would like to use your app to publish this kind of pdf that also can be also published for for the other uh, for the as I say, for the future generation, for the future students, for the future groups. So what uh, should I do? What sh should I should I start with the with the local Windows version? Should I go to to like regular booklet? I don't know, like maybe fifteen pages where I start like Fox. Uh, please install the application, open this page, go to so just some kind of screenshots, put in into this book and some kind of descriptions and you know instructions what should user do in in this or that program uh so how should i you know make this kind of pdf or virtual or i don't know like ebook pdf book in in the program mm -hmm. thank you very much michael so as i understand uh, you would like to create a document including texts images and other stuff from scratch yeah, i mean yeah. from a blank page exactly by the way one more question is it possible to insert kind of video in this kind of document or it's impossible yes this is possible 
But uh, a short answer to your question would be that it's not possible to create from scratch on this service. This service is designed to convert ready PDFs, ready content into a interactive publication. So first you need to already to you, you need to have a ready PDF file with the texts, with the layout, probably with the images, with the links, probably. But the layout and the text should be there already. So it's it's not the service like uh, I forgot its name. Uh, forgot. Okay. Mm, there are different services that allow you to create from scratch. I mean, put a text box, type some some <laughs> some letters or an entire text there. So no, this service is uh, designed for conversions, uh, and it allows you to add animations to add some images, add links, add GIFs, add YouTube videos, for example. But to do that, you at least need a ready page with some text in it. Okay, what if I have right now like three pages I've, I've prepared for the previous lesson? I will share the screen right now. So maybe you could help us to or could could help me at least or help me in my in my face like this is the previous lesson task so that was i was doing this kind of scanned so it can be like a scanned image or it can be also made like a text you see like page number one then the, you see mm -hmm. some screenshots and you know some uh, what what is there some i don't know can i, can I yes yes i see thank you i'm trying to make it smaller right now yeah, second one. So this should be usually, if I'm not mistaken, there's a uh, 60 lessons, and each lesson usually have from three to 15 uh, pages like this one. So with a kind of uh, you know a uh, little page, I mean a little picture with the exp explanation. What is this like? What is a modem? <laughs> what is a telephone jack? Uh -huh. Service provider? Blah blah blah. How it works? What do we need? And then we have the kind of you know help desk. Important questions for the help desk, and you know. And then the screenshot how this or that program works, for example. This is actually how I want that we previously talked today with Diana and with some other guys. For example, if that will be a Final Cut or like Adobe Premiere, and we will do some kind of little booklet like this, a kind of task for each of us. So, for example, I would like to make like small tasks and send other students, other guys in our group, something like this. So, how can I, how me personally or how any other any other in our group can create something like this easy uh that's a distinct feature of flipping book web application you already have a pdf all you need to do is to go to your web page uh, should i go to the web page or you just well well uh <laughs> If you're ready, uh, so as I understand, you don't have a trial version, so you, you haven't signed up for the trial version. Mm -hmm. So you are not a trial user even, right? So if you want to try the service, you will need to sign up first, mm -hmm. then you will get a 14 day free trial. And if you want to experiment, you and your teammates will be able to do that. On the main page, there is an option to sign up. Okay. Uh, but in short, you sign up, you get access to the application, you click Upload PDF button, choose the PDF on your computer, on any computer, Mac, Linux, Windows. The system uploads it, converts it, and you will be presented with a bunch of customization tools that will allow you to change some settings. Background, color, maybe title, etc. Uh, the best 
think I uh, I think that the best way to um, continue uh, this discussion is to should look at an example. Yes. On the website, because it will take some time for you to upload the PDF, but it's better to take a look at the at an example. Uh, tell me, please, who can share the screen? Can you do it, or we should do it? Oh well, you can do it. I can direct you. Mm. I, I, I'm not Besides, sure because, uh, this I'm... is a great way. Yes, yeah, so uh, go to please share your screen so I could see what you're doing. I'm just sharing, but it looks like you don't see it. Uh, let me. Uh, yes, it disappeared a few Do you see seconds it right now? ago. I can see a black screen for some reason. Uh, okay, your screen is sharing. So, almost... but uh, a minute ago, everything was. Uh, let Good. me let me try. Yeah, something's happened. Let me try to share once again. It looks like I don't know what's going on. If you if you for example if you cannot, I can try to share my screen. Do you see it? Yes. Now we can see it. Uh, mm, so should I log okay, in? So or what? Uh, yes. This is a page that. Uh, are we? <clears throat> So, quick, okay, quick email, uh, so or what you want to sign up. Sign up. You may sign up, but I would prefer to uh, show you an example first. Okay. Because you're, you, you can sign up any time later. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at an example. Uh, you just click Flipping Book Online. Yes, but at the left <laughs> upper corner, <laughs> click Perfect. Then you can see examples. Click at the top. See the examples section. Click on this. Okay, example. Uh, and please scroll down. So this page describes what kind of documents you can create uh, based on the purpose. Can be a catalog. Scroll, scroll down. Can be a catalog. Uh, a newsletter, a magazine. So all these examples were created in a PDF form first. And then they were those PDFs were uploaded and uh, converted. What is that bookshelf? Is that the same uh, as any other bookshelf? Uh, bookshelf is just a collection for your uh, publications. So it's as you can see, it shows uh, different publications that you have on your account, and you can share a link to this bookshelf, and people will be able to select which of your publications they would like to read. So. One precise question: Is that a bookshelf? Can you see? It looks like it's like what I see here. Share not only one flip book, but you whole digital library at once. Blah blah blah. Create. Uh, so, for example, like my iPad and my like Mac, you know, Apple products have their you know bookshelf with the eBooks in this stuff, and they usually use this uh, the Apple eBook format, like eBook zero one, eBook zero two. Does it support this eBook zero two format, or it's only for PDF? Um, no, uh, this application doesn't support any other formats except from PDF. And the resulting publication, let's scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, 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 down. down. Okay, stop. Here. Uh, the, the magazine with this woman. Click on this image. This one? Image. Welcome. Yeah, click, 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 click. And this is how your audience will open a flipbook. This flipbook was created from a PDF. So what the application did, it converted it into an interactive document. So you can flip pages, you can even drag the corner of the page. So it's interactive. So this is the main goal. You can still use PDFs, and many people still in Europe use PDFs because so they think that that's enough. But people who like the interactions, 
for, they would like to insert videos, images, animations. Uh, they would like to experience kind of a real book flipping. Uh, they choose a service, an application like this. Uh, so this is how it looks. So you can flip pages. You will hear you you will even hear the sound of a flipping page. Uh, here you can see animations. Uh, so this book was created by a designer, of course. So that's why uh, to create a beautiful flip book, you need to. Well, you don't have to be a professional designer, but to create a flip book like this, you have to be. <laughs> because uh, if you want to create high quality PDFs. Um, so he, these animations uh, are created from GIFs. So a person had prepared GIFs in a different program. So you need to have a different program for that. Uh, you prepare GIF files, you and you can G insert G them. GIF file, right? GIF, yes. Uh -huh. um, so usually designers prepare uh, what's called a blueprint. So you have a almost ready magazine, but with empty spaces for your GIFs. And then they upload a PDF and insert GIFs uh, into these empty spaces. And uh, they may even insert images, uh, any other stuff. Uh, it's convenient because if you want to quickly change something, you can do it right in the on this page without recreating a PDF. And this one is what we see is like digits are going up like. This is a GIF. This is just a recorded uh, set of images. Mm -hmm. but so this is just an animation file. But this GIF is just like a final, right? Like this one is a like infinitely going and going. And yes, like... you can set different settings. You can set a P, uh, an image to animated image to loop or you can uh, or it will stop automatically mm -hmm. when the animations finishes so you can um, set specific settings in a, in a special menu so now you have a perspective of what uh, the service does so it converts a PDF uh, into this digital publication. Uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you ask me, what are the main other advantages besides inter the f the feeling of a real book interactivity? What people like. Yeah, what do usually people like? Mm -hmm. Yes, the main advantages uh, uh, over a ordinary PDF file are the following. Um, you can quickly share a publication just via a link. You don't have to send a file. A person doesn't have to download it then open a folder, for example. Um, One question. If you say we can share yes. a link, it means like the link would be shared with the browser. Does it depend on what browser do you use? Because different browsers display you different different information differently. Even the websites under Mozilla, like uh, Google Chrome and uh, Edge slash uh, Internet Explorer is a little bit different. Sometimes completely different so something display something doesn't or this it doesn't matter with it because it's a pdf it's already not a pdf uh 
Now it's a normal web page in HTML5 format. Once you convert a PDF, it's no longer have a PDF format. It's an an ordinary uh, kind of website. Uh, it's an ordinary yes website, exactly. HTML5 page with the JavaScript running on it that ensures all these animations work. And uh, you asked about different browsers. Mm, the developers try to keep up with the, the differences that appear between different browsers and try to make sure that the same page looks the same in different browsers. In Safari, Mozilla, Chrome, Opera, and at Microsoft Edge. Uh, my Internet Explorer is a very outdated browser. Um, it, I'm not even sure that Microsoft supports it now. Most likely they don't. So, but as for major browsers, of course, you can expect that people will see the same. Can you, hi, I have a question. Sure. <laughs> Uh, I uh, have uh, an idea. Uh, can I use your service um, for a fake web page? Uh, I mean that I create um, um, PDF um, uh, as if I create a website with a menu, um, typical uh, interface, and then I um, make a PDF and upload uh, to uh, your service. Uh, and can I um, expand uh, this file uh, at full screen? And it would be uh, as like a website. It's like a fake. It's like a pretend that it's site. Mm -hmm. uh, let me clarify one thing. You would like to embedded to build it into your already existing web page or you would like uh, it just to show uh, you would like people to open a link to this publication and it will open like a in full screen uh, in full screen like a standalone website so it will yeah, be part yeah. of your website, but it will be like a standalone website. Yeah, I, I mean, um, um, can I use your um, this service um, for uh, for creating a simple uh, website, but without uh, tilde, red mac, or um, something like that, like mm -hmm. a, like a life hack. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that you cannot uh, create a website from scratch using this application. I remember that people kind of tried to, to do that in the past. I saw a few examples. Um, it's but it may be a bit tricky. I don't. I don't remember technical <laughs> how exactly they did that. But theoretically, yes, you you can um, you can take this link link and uh, 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 and create a blank web page and how say and embed it embed this. Um, page into your blank web page um, so uh, and show it like it's your website so you you kind of you, you can do that but at least you should have uh, your website you should have uh, you should have something something yours so you, you cannot send a link it, it will open full screen like a website no you can't do that. So if you have you already your 
web page somewhere on a server. Probably you could do that by embedding this application into your web page. Uh, but it will take you some uh, more knowledge to make it appear like your website. So you will have to do with maybe, I don't remember. So uh, the easiest way is to embed it in normal way, like you see on this screen. This publication is um, embedded onto the web page, Flipbook's web page. So this is a website. You click, you clicked on an image, on a preview, and you uh, can see the publication. You can even click on the full screen uh, icon at the bottom, and it will appear in the full screen. Mm -hmm. But it will still be a part of a web page, not a standalone web page, because a standalone web page is is hosted on our server, and it will never belong to you, <laughs> and you cannot fake it. Uh, you, <laughs> how say? Well, actually, you can fake it, but you will have to pay for it. <laughs> uh, okay. There is an option. Yes, there is an option to show your company name, your domain name in the URL. This is called a custom domain. So you share a link. A person opens the link and the publication opens in a, in a browser. But uh, to do that, you will have to pay the company so that, so first of all, you will have to pay for your own domain. You will have to contact some provider, mm -hmm. buy a domain, lease a domain, uh, and then contact Flippin' Book and buy additional service called custom domains. So Flippin' Book will show your name, for example, uh, Mercedes <laughs> uh, slash etc. dot com in the URL. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let me uh, make it a little bit more clear because I'm not understand. For example, I have a, d a domain like uh, my university. I just created the website ten years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, I created. You said this kind of like. For example, this is the PDF I created before. So right now, what we see right now on my screen. This uh, Christie and she has trust annual blah blah blah. Is is that the PDF or is this is the kind of website? What what we see right now? So if this is a, if this is a website and for example I would like to have something like this, should I kind of upload it to my server? Should I upload it to some kind of folder? What should I do? Because regularly what I do I just upload it like one file if it's like uh, like standalone web page or upload it like uh, like PHP or HTML or ASP whatever and then link some other you know pages inside with some script so what is this is that a kind of script is that a kind of one file two files what is what we see right now how for example should I upload this one or it's not my uh, you know my my responsibility I just need to send you this PDF press the button and all other stuff would be made by flipping book what application I don't know how uh, how um, I, I, I understand, explain. I understand. Mm -hmm. so um, Michael uh, you want to show a publication on your website right uh, I'm asking about... interactive publication on your website yeah this is one option for example if I would like to share it in my in, in my website so should I Okay, so this is exactly what uh, we can see right now. There is a website, Flick and Books website. Uh, we scrolled down, we clicked on the image, uh, and it popped up and opened a publication. So we can say that this publication, this is a standalone web page that is inserted into this website. So one page ins is inserted into another. They are completely different, but it opens in a pop-up window. You, at the same time, you are staying 
on a pre on your main web page. But at the same time, in the pop-up window, you can see a different web page, which is a publication. So it's called embedding. When you embed, insert, you build something into something. So you build one web page into another. In this case, we can see an interactive publication, an interactive web page that was built into Flipping Books website. And you can do the same with your own website. You can embed even this publication, the Christie NHS Trust Annual Review, into your website. We have, so th this is how it works. We have a, a tutorial how you can do that. So it's not very difficult. So this is how it works. Mm. Yes. And this is, again, this is a uh, an advantage with a PDF. Well, you can, of course, uh, provide a link to your PDF on a website, but it won't look attractive. It will be just a link. It will most likely it will open a new page. It will download something. Well, so anyway, you will we will not find any interactivity. But here you can you see it pop up. So um Yeah, I see this pop up and I'm just wondering like here also there's a play button. Is this play button is uh, inserted into this PDF or inserted in this kind of or they put this PDF and convert it to some kind of website. I don't understand how, how they it's not a GIF, right? It's not a GIF. It's, a, it's an inserted video that was inserted after they uploaded a PDF. Uh -huh. A digital publication was created. And then in the content editor, if you've ever been they patient, added this PDF. Oh, sorry. The, <laughs> they <laughs> added this video just by inserting a link and clicking the button, uh -huh. save. So all this interactivity uh, can be added online. So you don't have to do that in your PDF. Uh, you can prepare GIFs separately. You prepare videos on YouTube separately. You construct a PDF file in Google Slides, in Microsoft PowerPoint, in more advanced services like Canva, I like Canva very much. Uh, you can even do this, of course, in Adobe native software. I don't remember how it's called. Adobe. Adobe whatever. Adobe Premiere. Adobe whatever. Yes. Acrobat or whatever. <laughs> yes. So you do. You create. You make layouts. Uh, you set a certain style there. You create text. So everything we saw on your on your example PDF in your PDF that you showed us previously. So you do that in a different program, PDF creating program. So if I created my PDFs, simple PDFs, just in Google Docs. Mm -hmm. Simple, easy for testing uh, for some simple documents. And everything else, links, videos, uh, GIFs, images, even images, I added directly in this web application. So uh, do you create this uh, button in PDF or you all uh, you no, do this? In, in application, in the web application where you upload a PDF. So you don't have to do anything. Just uh, as I say, you have a video on YouTube and that's enough. But when I will have my regular PDF file, would I see kind of link there on this uh, YouTube or it's only be seen on the like uh, Flipbook website or in this interactive? Uh, like, look, this video button, it concerns the YouTube video that you added when this PDF already was converted into a web page. So it's not, it's already not a PDF. It's not even a file 
<laughs> a PDF file. It's not, it's not a PDF file anymore. Anymore, I guess. Yes, that PDF file, it remained on a computer. So after it was converted into a digital publication, aka HTML5 web page. So then you added different functionality. Videos, uh, links, uh, GIFs, etc. So you added those things afterwards. So you don't have to prepare this in the PDF. Is there any video tutorial how just, you know, simply in one minute to see how they, uh, for example, if they have this link for YouTube, for any YouTube video, and I want to insert, as you said, embed that kind of video inside my, what, digital, what, whatever, what is this? How to do this, like kind of tutorial? Is there any video of how to do this stuff or you need to do it like specifically, you know, calling the support? Exactly. Uh, we have a vast knowledge base with the most frequently asked questions uh, that uh, have the answers have short video tutorials. Um, many people prefer using knowledge base instead of contacting a customer support agent directly. So that's why we are constantly improving it updating it and you can find it you can close and i will show you where you can find this knowledge base mm -hmm. the help center you can click on the x side at the upper right corner scroll up all the way up and uh, yes until we see this navigation pane now let's click help help center well wow. here we go you need flipping book online and right here you can see the most um, popular articles how to create a first flip book how do you embed a flip book into my website we don't see uh, here we don't see an, op uh, an article about inserting videos, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you can type video and you will quickly find this, find it. Or you can see, you can try to find this here. But I'm pretty sure that the first article uh, has a link to this, to, to the article about video, you know, you, you just type video. You don't you don't have to type how to insert. Uh, just video, and it should show you. Flipping book online. Click on flipping book online section on the left. Because it, no, 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 uh, not, uh, Michael, this is for flipping book publisher. Yes, click. Exactly. And how to add videos, links, and images. This is the second article. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It explains how you can do that. But if you want uh, an overview of what a f the flipping book can do, you go back and check how to create my first publication with Flipping Book. Mm -hmm. It's a one minute video that will show you the main features of this service. So where should I go? Products? Uh, Flipping, yes. And this, uh, go below, be, uh, uh, go, go back. Uh, but, oh, stay here. Just click watch video. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it's on this the, one? I always, on, I always watch yes, it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> This and just just the video, not the Imagine PDFs. Imagine what your clients must feel waiting for that attachment to finally. They just show something like I don't know that she took the stuff and show and share that she have it, but she did. They didn't really show anything. I mean, okay. But, then let's go back to the to our knowledge base that has a more concise and detail specific view. They just stare in the screen, nothing else. <laughs> Click resources at the top. Okay. 
no, 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 sorry, um, sorry, help. click help, help, help center. And then how to create a first playbook, the first article on the left. Yes. And now click this video. Watching, watching. This is what you need. Mm -hmm. From a ready step by step and then share it. Start with our demo file or upload your own PDF here. It'll be automatically converted Why into it a doesn't go full screen? Meanwhile, you can preview. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Interesting. Uh, I I have personally haven't checked it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Maybe the first it, person who finds the back. I get you. <laughs> uh, m m m <laughs> let, let me check. I am also interested. Uh, uh, this is, by the way, uh, Google Chrome. I can open the, in the Safari if it helps. Let me try to. Uh, it works in my browser. Maybe uh, you have an ad blocker. Uh, maybe, who knows? Maybe just uh, when you share a screen. It prohibits you from going to, I don't know, just as, assume from going into full screen let video. Me, let me open it in Safari. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm just wondering. You know, I'm kind of. Uh... With yeah, you can play it. You, you can may... create your first. Uh, who knows? You know what? In in Safari it works. Mm -hmm. In Google it doesn't. So does it mean mm -hmm. that my Google browser has kind of pop up? Uh... <sighs> Um, you have Google on Chrome yes. first. Mm -hmm. It's different than Google <laughs> Chrome on Windows. And uh, the easiest way is to just uh, update your browser. It uh -huh. might be outdated. I get you. The, the easiest... I, I answer by, uh, by help desk. Update your browser. Uh, so, um, shut down. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> but usually, usually, uh, not usually, in many cases, updating your browser works. Because this is, uh, is this thing, it very much depends on a browser. Because browsers, a browser does uh, much of the load here, much of the work. So that's why it depends. It's, uh, Do you see my screen? No, no, you don't. Yeah, so for web services, uh, using a modern browser is very important. I just want to make sure that you see my browser. My browser is uh, up to date. It's like 110 Google Chrome. What is the, what is the last one? Can, can anybody tell me? Well, if you... well, uh, I just opened the to, about you browser. You can just open the uh, browser menu click yeah help. i just did it i just did it i just okay. I, i'm just so sharing the screen and i just it, it doesn't share me the screen that's the problem let me just try to share once again okay if I it just... doesn't update no, it no, means no. that you have the latest version you don't even to check the version so it looks like it does it's it's already a troubleshooting section uh -huh. of our meeting so <laughs> i'm not sure it will be very interesting for your team <laughs> very interesting for your teammates i guess mike yes but that's uh, of course interesting and if i were a flipping book customer support agent i would take a closer look mm -hmm. 